the most important thing to understand about, about the modern world, actually, is that once people were very poor and now they're very rich. In 1800, the average person in the world made $3 a day. I mean, the modern equivalent of $3 a day. So the goods and services, the stuff you could buy in the amount of $3 a day. So three quarters of a cappuccino per day, nothing else. In the last 30 years, the percentage of people who are that badly off in the world has fallen by half. It's been halved. So things are going very well. And for we in places like the United States, where they've gone exceptionally well since 1800, we're making, now hear this, $130 a day. And what a transformation. It's just incredible. Now, we had earned the $3 a day forever. So there was, a, there was in history, if you want a short economic history, since the beginning of time, it was $3 a day going along like this. And then right here, which is 1800, it goes, whoosh, it goes up like mad. And there's this fantastic transformation of the condition of ordinary folks. Why did it happen? One old explanation is exploitation. You hear this a lot. We are rich because there are a bunch of poor people elsewhere in the world who are poor. That's not true. There's always been exploitation in history, and it didn't cause economic growth. So it can't be modern exploitation. Nor can it be, to think of a more conservative way of looking at it, investment. It's not investment. It's not piling bricks on bricks or BAs on BAs. It's new ideas. It's innovation. The fantastic number of changes in machinery and materials and, and organizational ideas, such as the modern university or reinforced concrete, it's just amazing. That caused the this hockey stick the blade of the hockey stick. Why did this happen? Two changes in Holland and England in the 1600s and 1700s, which was a rise of economic liberty and social honor for inventors, merchants, manufacturers, before these were dishonored occupations, then they became honored. And out of that came a tremendous burst of innovation that had been earlier discouraged because they weren't free and they weren't honored.